right, here's footage from somebody here on WYZE. And what they noticed is you can see how the fathers come in. They're in the Appalachian Mountains. And it starts detecting, like, you, like look at that. You can see it's detecting multiple things in the fog. But the question is, why would something be detected in the fog? I was looking at something a little earlier on. Hey, they've come out and said also this right here, a stuck fog bank is keeping temperatures low in the region. And this guy I'm about to show is living underneath this. But he describes what it feels like and looks like to him. And uh, I'm not sure how much longer I can take it. As night descends upon us here in Sacktown, you have to ask, how long is this gonna go on? Yeah, I kind of made this joke earlier over the weekend, but it literally looks like ash up here, right? Like it's like, it's obviously fog and clouds, but it looks like nuclear fallout from like a, a bomb or something. Let's go a little deeper here. This is what they said, UC San Diego. First, we're gonna show a clip though of UC San Diego showing the fog rolling in. Check it out right there. Now, they had officially reported this on the 6th of December, but this is not just actually today when they say that on the clip, just want you to be clear. But UC San Diego, they came out and they said, you see Santa Cruz researchers win funds to characterize the makeup of coastal, Pacific coastal fog. They've already actively done this research. And look at the look at the fog popping out over there. Like, did you see that? Look to the right. It's like it's like a, a fog volcano almost. Like not literally, but I want you to go back and see that. All right, there it is. Look, look in the right side. What is that right there? Why is it billowing up like it's a little mini steam vent or something? Like in one section right there. I mean, I look at it. It's, it's got bigger now. Look at that's crazy. So what is that? So now we got to put some keys together. How much money they spent for that though? They spent seven hundred and thirty-seven thousand. They were awarded a grant, as a matter of fact. Heisman Simons Foundation to characterize the chemical and biological composition of Pacific coastal fog water. Remember, we're three months from that scenario, right? When they announced it. And we're about to dive a little bit deeper into it. After they announced that, now we're here at this point. Right here is on the East Coast. They've had freeze fog. So here is another eyewitness. Waking up to freezing fog in Oklahoma. Could you be kidding me with this? Ice accrual. We've got some columns that have formed, some crystals. This is extreme meteorologist Reed Timmer, and we have freezing fog this morning here in Oklahoma. Surface temperature is about 30 degrees, and this fog is accruing on those surfaces. What do the weather people mean by freezing fog? Mama. Is the fog going to freeze in mid-air? That means we're going to be frozen like Frosty the Snowman. So again, I'm going to confirm something through y'all. So drop what is really happening. Let's go a little bit deeper into the situation. He and Rahav, an associate researcher in ocean science, plans to collect samples of fog water at 15 locations spanning the length of California in different air sheds and transport histories.
They are primarily interested in spatial and temporal patterns of concentrations of inorganic nutrients in biological molecules, algal toxins, and chemical contaminants in California coastal fog water. The active fog collector is not just California. Listen closely. Key devices to be used collecting the samples will be designed and built by students in Baskin School of Engineering using Slugworks facility. I'm going to let you see another person who's just in the fog. You know, I'm getting real tired of not seeing the sun. Like, I know it's kind of pretty and the mist is, looks cool and it's kind of creepy and scary like, but it's December and I'd like to see the sun, please. Just once. So a lot of people saying there it's been a long time since they've seen the sun. And I wouldn't just have the cup just sitting out there while it's fogulating all in your cup. Now, check it out. Four other campuses was also awarded the funds last month for this research. That was in September when he said it. San Francisco State, California, Monterey Bay, UC and Indiana University. Before we before we move forward. Are we to confirm something? A connection potentially is indiana seeing fog right now we'll look in the comment section to confirm that to see what's going on and yes i got a comment in from indiana sylvia said yes indiana is seeing fog no sun for over two weeks i'm a hundred miles south of iu bloomington how many of you think we should do another test of the fog let me know in the chat like give me a give me a just say test or say no Give me a thumbs up if you're here to help boost interaction. Uh, and so we can keep this thing going. All right. So I'm going to read a little bit more here because there's more to the whole situation. Their research will contribute to a multi-institute project that ultimately aims to enhance society's ability to manage coastal resources. What? Wait, 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 let's just pause for a second. So the fog is going to determine our resources in some type of way because it deals with the entire climate of the ecosystem. Remember the guy in the beginning of the clip who said he felt it looked like some type of fallout, but he knew it was just fog. That was just him claiming that. Listen to what this next guy says he felt the fog looked like to him. So I'm on my way to get my daughter. I come outside. And look how foggy it is out here. It's so foggy. It's like almost eerie. It's crazy. It's hard to see anything. It's it's like the fog is like right in my face. Like I can see it. It's almost like that movie, The Mist. Watch, look. Look at that. Bro, it's so foggy. And like I could see the fog like right in front of my face. I've never seen it this foggy before. This is weird. It's like smoke. I feel like I'm in like fumes of smoke. Look at that. It's it's weird. It's really weird. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know. And they're saying that, well, as the earth warms, we want to make sure that this fog, how is it going to change? Is it, are we going to stop having it? That's what they said in so many words. So it says society's ability to manage coastal resources through our coastal ecosystems in changing climate. The Interdisciplinary Pacific Coastal Fog Research Project, this is what this is called, will attempt to provide answers to the most frequently asked fog questions in popular discourse and the media. How will fog change as the planet warms? Will it go away understanding it as far? I'm not claiming that the recent fog we just went through has anything to do with the UC San Diego Fog Coastal Research Program. But I'm just saying that there's a lot of weird things that is happening with the fog and people would agree with me in the comment section here. What do you think? Is this just normal fog and people are freaking out? Or are we seeing something much deeper here? All right, this is me reporting live. If you see this, don't say nothing, just share it. Okay, because I told y'all this last year, but you know, so earlier um, we had went out, it's dark just so you know. Um, we had went out, I had to run to the store and I noticed over the water something was happening right
Um, same as last year when I said something. Continuing to watch all this for you, all the updates on the earth shifts, the changes, everything that has happened. Subscribe right now, but don't forget you should watch this because it's something hidden here that you have not seen yet.